No, focus. Look at your hands and what do you see? Look at yourself in the mirror. How do you see yourself? Close your eyes and picture yourself. Is it good? Is it bad? Change your perception and get past those excuses that are holding you back. Leave the powerless drive that doesn't motivate you. Now is the time to focus. Hold your hands out. I want you to look at these as tools for progress, tools for strength. See your work differently. Take pride and be proud of it. Take a step back and care for your work. I want you to write words, words that impress yourself. Step back from it and smile. Try not to get stuck in the same routine, losing inspiration and lacking creativity. Inspire yourself. View your work differently. Don't waste any time. And if you still feel no motivation, just know that potential lies within you, waiting to ignite, brewing up a fantastic creation you never thought was possible, brewing self-improvement, strengthening yourself. I want you to take comfort in the fact that one day this potential will flicker and bring out the new and improved you. Embrace this hope. Feel the strength. But for now, I want you to focus. Trust the potential and think of the future where you're achieving your goals. Work through the mistakes and turn them into lifelong lessons. Lessons that truly improve you as a person. In order for this to happen, you'll need the focus. The willingness to spark your potential will motivate you to work harder than you could ever imagine. Your desire to improve is the greatest power you can ever have. And I want you to take that and focus it. Focus on your power. Focus on yourself. Focus on your work. Focus on your strengths. Focus on your weaknesses and focus on your potential. Morning comes every day. It's a constant. As long as we are alive. The day we don't wake up is the day we die. So I have this idea, right? It's in my head. A story. I sit down most days to get these words out on paper or on the computer screen. The cursor flashing like it's mocking me. It's saying, I'm here. Constantly. My resistance. My hurdle. I'm choking. I can't put a single letter down. I'll do anything to avoid my fingers pressing those keys, my pen flowing on paper. I can't do it. Mr. Resistance holds my hands to the table. He ties them to the concept of time as it passes. Time passes to no avail. Words have not come. I've gained nothing, but lost a lot. This is me, every day, time, time passes. He doesn't wait for my fingers to type. I can't hold on to him. He leaves me in my quiet solitude, fearful, fearful of failure. In this fear, I fall victim to the thing I'm afraid of. I thought that time would pass without me making something of myself. I know he'll no longer wait for me, so I must join him, I must find a way. Having forward momentum is better than standing still. If you go confidently into the world, you'll make your path. But to stay motionless will make your life stagnate without a glimpse of your vision. The power of moving is incredible. A boxer can be the most skilled in the world, but if he stands still for just a second or two, he can be dismantled in that very instance. It's not what you write, it's the act of writing that is required. This is the same for any pursuit. You can get so wrapped up in the details. How fast your race time is going to be, how much money you're going to make on this deal, what the coach is going to say, what are you going to write? We get so wrapped up in these details. We never get started in the first place. This is fear of success. This is fear of not knowing. And this is called faith. Go where there is no path and leave a trail. We can procrastinate all day about the thing we want to do, but it's the act of doing that a vision becomes a reality. There are 
many select words that can be chosen to explain defeating this situation. But in the words of my favorite quote, just do it. Don't stop. Keep moving. Let's get moving. Get going. Push forward. Don't stop. Stop dreaming. Start doing. Cry, sweat, fall. Just don't stand still. I am moving. I will not stop. I will not stand still. This is your way for you to progress towards your power. This is the power you deserve, the power you've earned, the power you've waited for. Let this be the beginning towards your new life. Let this be the moment you remember when looking back. No longer think about the present. Start thinking about your future. This is your opportunity to be better, to constantly look for something more, always looking to be dynamic in your decision, constantly looking up, looking beyond what's right in front of you at this very minute. Tomorrow is your opportunity to change, your opportunity to try something completely different, to step out of your comfort zone, to step away from the limitations that usually hold you back, and move toward freedom that sets you apart from everyone else, that gives you space to try something different. Be the person you admire. Be the person you thrive to be, working each and every day, ready for you to grow, ready for you to improve, improve towards your future. This doesn't have to be the end. I want you to strive for success without downgrading another aspect of your life. I want you to keep it consistent and keep it in balance without stressing any other parts of your lifestyle. Improve your perception of yourself and improve others' perception on you too. Strengthen yourself, boost your attitude and design your life for the better. Design your life to fit your life, not anyone else's. Be the permanent figure in your own life and finally take control. Live your life for you. I want you to make it happen for you. Make it happen to succeed, to make progress, to live your life, to grow and change towards a better future. You see, a future with an improved you, a future where you have power over your life, the power you once craved and the power you deserve. You got to keep calm and in control. Stay in control of your abilities. Stay in control of your potential. How you can always grow and seek success in every place in your day. Every hour and every day, you can seek success. And then, I want you to grant yourself the praise you deserve for working, working hard for building your strength and your well-being. And then, I want you to appreciate the ground you walk on. I want you to appreciate the very air that's filling your lungs. This is your time to grow, to revamp your life. Make it your life. Make it for you and improve it for you. Your failures don't define you. It's your determination that defines you. Don't let failure slow down your progress. Remember that nobody recalls the mistakes that you make. The only aspect that change your life is your success. In order for you to succeed, you're gonna have to be determined to become the person you once aspired to be. Be the person who takes the time to improve yourself. You define your future. Don't let your mistakes move you backwards. I want you to let them move you forward. Let your willingness to move away, to make mistakes and to use them, use these mistakes to educate yourself. Use your failure as filler. Imperfection makes us perfect. Use this as a way to strengthen yourself, a way to succeed and to achieve. Make this you. The clock is ticking. Time to move forward and face your mistakes and learn and move away from them. Your determination makes you stronger and more successful. Your determination can help you. It's going to help you move forward. Move away from the past and make it towards the future, a future where you can make things happen. Make the negative aspects of your life turn to positive aspects. Now make this your moment, your moment to change your future. Now something you're going to come to realize, 
is what defines us is how well you rise. Because you slip up. You make a mistake. You need to move away from that and rise above it. Rise away from your mistakes. Your failures, they don't make you a bad person. No, they don't even make you a weak person. Do you know what it makes you? It makes you normal. What makes you above normal is rising past your failure, rising away from your past mistakes, and rising above normality and becoming a bigger and better person. Make yourself grow. Self-growth, becoming the person you needed to be in order to make it past your fears, moving towards a new and improved future. Take the time to grow. Take out time to work hard. Work harder. Work hard until you can achieve and achieve the things you've always wished you could achieve. Now I want you to get up, get on up and get out of your usual slump. And I want you to run towards your goals. The goals that you set in the past that are waiting for you in the future. The future where you have what you have always wanted, where you have the time to make it happen. That future is happening around you right now because you're going to take control of your life.